as Commander-in-Chief of the Army and Navy, I have directed that all measures be taken for our defense. But always will our whole nation remember the character of the onslaught against us. Dear Jenny, wow, I can't believe it's only been a month. Feels like a lifetime since we got married. I'm actually writing from France, quite a ways from Chicago. I hope you're okay. I miss you so much. Love, Joey. What's this? Some kind of hairless bear? That's my girl. That's a girl. Last chance, Rat. Give it back. Hey, 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 hey. What's going on here? You took a picture of my girlfriend. I didn't know such thing. It's in your hand. Why would I want a picture of this? I've seen dog period in this. Charlie, give it back. All right, you're siding with him over your own brother. Now. Sorry about that. What's your name again? Baxter. Jimmy Baxter. My friends call me Bax. I'm Joey Anderson. I'm the commanding officer of this unit. Sorry about my brother. He will be punished. Thanks, sir. Dear Jenny. Sorry I haven't written in a few days. It's been crazy out here. Me and my squad were on a supply run. The Nazis, which we called Jerry, hit us hard. We barely got out with our lives. Other than a couple of cuts, a really bad headache, and plenty of bruises, I'm fine. Love, Joey. And how are we feeling today? Great. When can I get back out there? As soon as the doctors clear you of your concussion. Oh, and by the way, your brother's here to see you. Hey. Hey, how you feeling? Probably better than I look. <laughs> what is it? I'm getting shipped off tomorrow. Where? Africa. I'm going to be the commanding officer of the 2nd Battalion, 16th Infantry Regiment of the United States of America. You take care, are you here? Will do. Rest up now. Hey baby, it's me again. The doctors finally cleared me for duty, so I can get back to keeping my country free. Charlie got sent to Africa to kick Jerry out of the Casarine Pass. I haven't heard any word from him yet. Supposedly General Eisenhower is supposed to be here, even though I haven't seen him. I'll keep you posted. Love, Joey. It says here we're supposed to liberate Paris. Yay us. I take it you don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I was drafted. I'd rather be back home. Home will still be there when we win the war. There shouldn't be a war. Japan shouldn't have roped us into this. And France wouldn't have gotten captured if they'd had an army. But it did happen, and we are here. And there are men just like you wanting to be home with their loved ones. You think you're the only one with a girl back home? The only way we are going to get to see them again is by sucking up our discomfort and following orders. We are going to liberate Paris, or we are going to die trying. Gentlemen, get off your hiney! At ease, soldiers. Captain Anderson, as you probably know, the U.S. is going to liberate Paris and the French people. The only thing standing in our way is a Nazi blockade in the back roads. If we can get through there, Paris is ours. Yes, sir. But what does that have to do with me? I need you to lead a strike team to take out that blockade. Permission to speak freely? Of course. Sir, I have studied the situation, and to send a strike team in is suicide. We would get pumped full of lead before we could get a shot off. I have confidence in you. Yeah, so do I. Hello, America. My name is Jenny Anderson. My husband is overseas fighting the war, and I can't help that as I'm sitting here in this room, I'm doing nothing to help. So, I have bought a war bond. You today can help our troops by donating 50 up to $1,000 to help us win this war. Hey bro, just wanted to write saying I'm alright. 
We've been under fire since we got here, and it hasn't been pretty. Lost most of my men before we even got set up. Jerry hasn't taken a break yet. That's all I can write now. Your brother, Charlie. Okay, Lieutenant, what do we got? Jerry's at a fortification on the far hill. They're taking us out one by one. What's the artillery situation? I see. Alright, we're gonna need a flank going around that way. Okay, go. Lieutenant! Infantry Division. Really? My gym is a part of that division. Fancy that! Oh. Thank you. The copy from Joey. Can you hold that? What's it say? Oh, no. Dear Johnny, I'm sorry to say that I cannot elude danger any longer. My men and I are being sent on a mission. I can't, I can't tell you all the details. But I want you to know that I love you so much. Joey. Gentlemen, get off your honeys! At ease. There's someone here to see you. President Charles de Gaulle. Gentlemen, I just want to thank you for trying to liberate my people in my country. We will try our best, sir. You guys best get going. Yes, sir. And soldier, good luck. Hello, I'm Robert W. Woodruff, President of Coca-Cola. I'm working with the U.S. Army to supply our troops with a refreshing drink every time they have a break. After a refreshing drink, our troops will be ready for anything. For every Coke you buy, we will ship one to the front lines of the war. So help us win the war. Buy Coke. This is ridiculous. We're pinned down and running out of ammo. Send support. Wedding. Huge wedding cake. And they have three children. <laughs> Name one of them Joey, of course. Huh? Joey! Hey, Jenny. I just did battle with the Nazis and got banged up pretty bad. I think I get to come home. Forever yours, Joey.